Hello, Nikolai from Ivoset. Today we'll take a look at our first mock-up. And we're actually quite excited because we've been able to build a system based on some relatively simple hardware and we're getting excellent performance already. So let me initially just remind you guys what we're building. We're building this system having a low pressure component and a high pressure component. So if you haven't already seen our previous vlog, I'd encourage you to do so. Because here I explain our main concepts and also this design. In the first mock-up, we have more or less built the same design. However, we don't have the D-pump. So this allows us now to run a low pressure gradient through the stage tip. We can then dilute it slightly using the C-pump before we put it into the storage loop. We can then use the high pressure pump to push the preformed gradient with the embedded analytes forward onto the analytical column and then into either a mass spectrometer or a UV detector. So let's take a look at the beast. And here it is. So as you can see, we have built the low pressure part of the system using standard series drives. These are not flow controlled yet and we are only able to upload some simple timetables but we are actually getting some quite nice performance based on this. This will of course only become a, lot, a whole lot better once we start using a, a real flow control. We do have the flow sensors so that we can measure the flow. We have a degasser to degas the solvents. And when we move towards the front of the instrument, it becomes very clear that we're using a CDC auto sampler uh, for this instrument. However, we've had to modify the tool quite a bit to accommodate the tips located down here in the tip tray. And this allows us now to pick up these tips individually one by one, place them into the receptacle, and push a gradient through, dilute it slightly before we push it into the storage loop. We can then use the high pressure pump located down here to push the preformed gradient with the embedded analytes forward and onto the analytical column and then into the mass spectrometer or the UV detector. So let's take a look at some of the data. These are the flow profiles from the low pressure system. And as you can see, they're quite noisy. However, it's obvious that the pumps are doing what they're supposed to do. When we look at the UV traces, they actually look quite nice. Um, and to our surprise, at least, they're a lot more reproducible than initially expected. Once we get the flow control implemented, this should uh, increase performance quite a bit um, on top of this. For the chromatography, it also looks quite nice. And uh, it's definitely good enough for us to start working. And we've already been able to verify that some of our main concepts work very, very nicely. And especially this dilution strategy seems to work uh, surprisingly well and we're getting a lot of very promising data from this. So of course the next obvious step will be to upgrade the pumps uh, and some of the other hardware components and also implement the flow control. So this would be my topic for the next video blog. So stay tuned and see you then.